Today, I will be sharing this high power knowledge on how to become a Minecraft Java Edition hacked client developer. That's right, I'm going to be showing you how to skid Minecraft Java clients. For this, I'm going to be using OIV and I'll explain why in a few seconds. Um, I'll link their GitHub page right down in the description below for your convenience. Now, there are a few prerequisites that you need to be able to follow along with this tutorial. First is the JDK or Java Development Kit. You'll already have this if you ever used like Forge or Fabric before um, or modded Minecraft. These will all be linked down in the description below. In addition to that, you'll also need Gradle and Git. All right, so why am I using OIV? Well, this is because OIV isn't just a open source Minecraft client, but it's a client base, meaning that it has everything that a client would need, basically except all of the utilities that a client actually has. Um, this means that you can build your own project on top of this really easily without just, you know, kind of blatantly skidding a client. Um, this is made to be skidded kind of also it works for 1.21.5 which is pretty insane for client bases or really even clients like this um and so this is what i'm going to be using for this tutorial but of course you can really follow along with anything it might be slightly different but really any open source client you want to skid you can do the exact same with now to get started with this, I recommend that you are signed into your GitHub account and then you can go ahead and fork the repository by clicking on this button over here. Fill in these fields. And now on my own GitHub account, I have the exact same master um, as the other one did, except you can now freely play around with this and basically do anything you want. You can add utilities, edit utilities, um, remove utilities, basically do anything this of course requires a well higher understanding i guess of java and minecraft coding modding this is not something that i can just dump into a five minute tutorial and you'll know how to do it and so that's also not something that I'm going to be doing too much in this tutorial. I'm just going to leave that stuff up to you. Of course, I am going to change this just a tad bit to prove that I actually like kind of did skid it, I guess. So I'll go into the main source, then over here, uh, features, modules, and player. And I'll add the nofall module. So here I just changed no fall into ankle insurance and instead of removes fall damage I'll change the description to terms terminal velocity into a light inconvenience because I'm funny like that. That's basically just what I'm going to do. I'm going to leave all of the rest of everything that you guys want to do up to yourselves. Anyways, I did also want to take this moment um, to prove that like it's not if, if you're not a experienced coder or whatever then it's not as intimidating as it might seem like what the hell is a super what is what is anything here well just looking at the clicked ui of oiv and then at this there's already a bunch of things you can figure out for example it was incredibly obvious that this was the name and that this was the description even if you knew nothing about coding you would just be able to deduce that from looking at the click UI and then looking at here. Category.player. Oh, this means it's in the player category. And obviously this then is a kind of variable, right? And so it's, I mean, you, you can definitely deduce things from here, right? You don't need to know how this works from scratch to be able to do funny things or skin or whatever, I guess. But anyways... I'll just go ahead and uh, commit these changes. So I've done everything I wanted for now. And if you have as well, then we're going to move on to the building now. Um, of course, you can build, then change things and build again. You can basically build an infinite amount of times. Anyways, here you want to simply grab the GitHub link, um, which is going to be this one right over here of well this github page then we're going to open up a cmd over here command prompt assuming you of course installed everything i said you needed to install so you want to type in git clone and then paste in this url right over here hit enter and then that is going to start cloning now that it's cloned we will cd to whatever this thing is called in my case it is oiv-skidded so 
O-Y-V-Y dash skidded. There we are. Inside of the directory, we just want to build, which we can do with the gradlu build command. Um, now, there are a few things with this. First off, you need to ensure that the project uses gradlu, which most of the clients will do, so you're good with that. Anyways, I'm in the command prompt, and so I will run gradlu build. If you're in something like git bash, then you need to add a dot slash in front of that, so dot slash gradlu build. And if you're in Windows PowerShell, then you need to add a dot and then a slash facing the other direction and then gradlu build. But because I'm in command prompt and you should be too, um, I recommend it. Then we can simply type in gradlu build just like this, hit enter, and it'll start building. And bam, this is what everyone loves to see build successful in this case in 52 seconds. Perfect, we can just close this up now and we can view our jar file. So to get there, we want to press on the, um, the easiest way is to press on the Windows and R buttons at the same time. And then just to type in the name of um, the GitHub thing. So in this case, mine was OEV skidded. It's already there. Okay, and we'll be brought to this location. You want to go into the build and then libs folder and here you will find um, the snapshot as well as the sources jar. We don't need the sources jar. This 1.0 snapshot jar is the one. And so perfect. It has been built, right? And now it's really uh, literally just as simple as putting this right inside of the mods folder over here now in this case I, this does actually also require the fabric api so now we can just select fabric 121.5 and load it up so inside of minecraft here we can press on the right shift button and now as you can see there is no no fall but instead we've got ankle insurance so that's pretty neat i'm not sure how to view the description of this utility in this client but who the hell cares so, um, I mean, we can enable that, but yeah, that was basically that. It's technically really that simple to get a Java client, although, of course, I, I didn't really do so much. Um, although, like, let's be real, most skidders are really just going to rename the client and call it a day. Although, let's be real, most actual skidders are only going to rename the client to a racial slur and call it a day. And so, for that purpose, this tutorial was obviously perfect. Anyways, if you did like it, make sure to hit that subscribe button to not miss more content like this in the future. Also, undoubtedly, you're going to like run into issues if you're actually going to try and make like a good client or a good skid. Um, and don't, don't all come to me with every single error you're getting because honestly, I'm not that good of a dev. So, nah, -uh. <laughs> but uh, yeah. For right now, I guess, thank you ever so much for watching, and I do, of course, hope to see you all again in the next one. Bye-bye.